Good morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today I'm going to show you how to photograph a painting step by step. For this video, you don't need any previous experience at all. All you need is a DSLR like the one I'm using, Canon 70D, a tripod, two lights, and last but not the least, a painting. I have to show you in another room, so let's get out of the bed and get to work. Prepare your studio. Before the shoot, you need to prepare your studio. Find a flawless white wall. Don't use textured walls. Hang your artwork using nails or adhesives. It's during the day, so we need to cut the sunlight. Because strong sunlight can cast shadows and reflect on the camera LCD screen. If you don't want the room to be too dark, use translucent curtains. Now bring at least two lights. Ideally, you have a set of umbrellas or soft boxes. If not, you can always use your desk lamps. Just make sure the light bulbs are neutral, not yellow. Set one on the left, one on the right, 45 degree angles. Set your tripod as flat as possible. You can see this bubble here indicating if it's level. Make sure you extend the tripod legs first before extending the central column. Extending the central column will compromise the camera's stability. Set your camera. First, let's check the lens. Ideally, you have a prime lens. I'm using my usual travel lens, a 1755mm on my Canon 70D. Make sure the lens is clean and set to autofocus. Switch on your camera and enter the M mode. The next thing you need is to set the ASO the lowest possible for the optimal image quality. Mine is set to 100, you can go up to 200. Higher ASOs will result in grainy image noise. The next step is to set aperture from 5.6 to f11. I usually like to set it to f8 and go from there. I always like to bracket my shot by intentionally taking one shot underexposed and one shot overexposed, just in case if I didn't get it right at the first time on a small camera screen. Because you have a sturdy tripod, you can play with the shutter speed. It can be anything from 30 to 125. This is the part you have more leeway. Before the shoot, check your file settings. For art portfolio, I usually use a small JPEG for preview with a large RAW file. The RAW file format allows you to pull more details from your painting in the post-production. If you're more advanced, then you can go to other settings, such as white balance and picture style. For this shoot, I will leave the white balance to auto. I like to set my picture style to neutral. Last but not the least, set the two second timer so you don't interfere with camera stability. I always take photos of some details like the side or the back of the painting just to show the framing. Now we are back in the bed with my laptop so it's time to edit those images. It really depending on what you use those images for, your workflow can be very different from mine. So imagine if you are uploading a picture to your Instagram, you can pull the JPEGs out and then crop it and then upload directly. If you're using those images for your art portfolio, you will really need to work on the raw files and pulling those details out and crunch those numbers. You need Lightroom or Photoshop or any other softwares capable of editing camera raw files. I'll be making another video on how to edit raw files and how to pull these details out. That's for another day. That's it for today. I hope today's video has helped you create better images for your art. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.